Just files to get his run back on ZD. Okay, here we go. Game one of Losers Finals. ZD versus Sweet T. Okay, looks like ZD kind of remembers a few, a few uh, tips from last or from last night. He was starting out with a dash attack, immediately pairs the back air into a rapid jab, but now he's continuing his aggression with dash attacks and up tilts. All right, both players just backs to each other, holding shield. And that's something that we're probably going to see that's really common in Ultimate, just because having your back to your opponent, unless you have a very good out-of-shield option that hits behind you, uh, is, is a bad position to be in. Yeah. I mean, in that situation, I feel like it was actually better for ZD because he does have the Fox up to behind it, but they are into the Vine Whip. Going to find that first stock off of ZD. Yeah, we saw a lot of Ivysaur yesterday uh, when it came to this set. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Ivysaur is definitely the MVP in this matchup. Each Pokemon definitely has their role against Fox here. You know, they all do something different against him. But Ivysaur definitely your quarterback here. He's the one making all the plays where he has the rest of the Pokemon to do their job for him. But it's up to him to, to finish off the but job. But you can't forget about that big up smash that Fox has now. I mean, it's way bigger than it was in, in Smash oh, 4. Oh, yeah. That thing, it's, it's huge now. It's huge. Seriously, just looking like Gal Flash Kick out here. <laughs> Try and jump in on me. I dare you. <laughs> it's actually very reminiscent of Flash Kick. But Squirtle doing a good amount of damage. Keeping a Sweet Tea on the right side of the stage. Trying to use the Water Gun. Does not catch. All right, looking for these forward tilts. Actually <laughs> just going to trade side bees there. That's Sweet Tea on the, was on the uh, better end of that, though. That's right. Withdrawal, you know, you, when, when, during withdrawal, you don't exactly take damage. Yeah. All right, Vine Whip recovery. I love it using the Vine Whip just to force ZD away from the ledge. Side B's right under him, though. That was a great conversion. Okay, using the Razor Leaf to apply a little bit of ledge pressure. Make sure that ZD doesn't have, isn't able to, uh, to set up for an, a ledge traps. Oh, unfortunate positioning there for Sweet T. He wasn't able to force ZD away that time. He was able to get in position for the down smash. Take a lead here in game one. Oh, dropping down and this immediately is using his up B. He was expecting a, an offensive option from ZD like jab or, uh, or grab and just tried to break it. I feel like the name of the game here for the Charizard from Sweet T is just to stand under the smash or the stadium platform, try and find that grab. Calls out a jump though, knows that ZD knows the grab is coming, gets the jump lead with an up smash. Okay, well now we see back to Squirtle, and it's Squirtle's turn to put on some numbers. Or is he gonna get taken advantage of? And he is the back here. No, actually not gonna end that stock. Okay, and I like that. Delaying his recovery with the Pokemon switch. And it actually made ZD uh, miss his opportunity to get a ledge trap. Right, and actually just narrowly dodging that up smash there. Sweet T still alive in this game one. That's right. And of course, Nair being so big from Ivysaur, uh, ZD's going to have a lot of trouble just trying to cross up with, with any aerials if uh, Jacob's just going to be committing to Nair. And I like this. Sweet T's running up quite often and just shielding because he knows the up smash is very punishable on shield, but that Nair is going to make sure it doesn't get shielded. That's right, Nair to up smash the, the no, we, bread and butter. We've been seeing that from Fox for a long, long time. I feel like for my entire life, I've seen that. I have i don't know how many iterations of Smash that's going to make it through, but you know what? If Ness gets a back throw, I think Fox should get Nair up smash. I just say we take away both, to be honest. <laughs> but that's just me, I think. <laughs> okay, well... Game two, and we see a switch to Pichu. Now, I this didn't know happen about yesterday. It. it didn't happen yesterday. Yeah, I mean, that's very true. He did say, uh, you know, he's got to be thinking, I dropped a set with all Pokemon Trainer against CD once already. I can't let him leave SoCal without at least giving Pichu a try. And on top of that, he wasn't really able to land any down airs in game one. He was made very good use of his down air uh, at Nimbus, but here, not so much. Yeah, ZD's recovery's definitely been quite good tonight. Uh, even, you know, staying alive for very long against ECM's Pikachu earlier. Big team looks for the... Dare finds the Thunder, though. Okay, if Nair out of shield, and he's just going to get punished by a big up smash. Give him the flash, flash kick. kick. 
It's even better because he just does it out of block, too. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the double dare. All right, great down smash catches the ledge getup. ZD not going to fall for that forward smash at ledge. I feel like he wasn't even spaced correctly, but even so. I feel like so, it still would have caught normal getup. Maybe. Regardless, he he made he very made it very clear what his intentions were. Just made it. Uh, gave ZD an opportunity to weave around it down air. Good to punish the, the illusion. Side. Yep. I mean, down air uh, is a strong move no matter which way it hits. All right. There's the up throw. He's trying to trap the landing. Not going to find the back air onto his shield. Okay, Great punish on the nair. And he got the trip from the F tilt. But we're going to see a down throw. Does not able to follow up. And up smash out of shield. Flash kick out of block. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Just the same, the same idea. <laughs> yeah. Eat this big damage. <laughs> it's universal across the FGC, apparently. Oh, sniped him out with Thunder Jolt, but not able to catch the illusion with Nair. Even though we see like Sweet Tea getting these parries, as soon as ZD ends up ends up behind him, he goes into shield. All right, Sweet Tea, just trying to find an opening. T jolting into sweet into ZD's face over and over and over, not finding a single opening though. Catches the nair trade, but not really finding any sort of co heavy command combo. Right, but you know what? At this point, Sweet T is the one that's going to have to be committing. As you can see, ZD is perfectly fine with making that uh, making it extremely clear. All right, not the backer right there gonna find the stock. Sweet T actually staying alive in this game right now. Yeah, good reversal. But parry into up tilt. You know what? That's all you that's all the damage you needed. Don't overextend. Don't try and go for more and then you know give Peachy the opportunity to land 50 damage on you. Oh. Alright, down tilt. No great air dodge for ZD. Yeah, Sweet T swinging that tail. Yeah, I mean he ran up and down tilted, got sour spot, and ZD rolled away so many times he said, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna get my grab instead. Yeah, I got enough ways to hit combo you. Uh, Sweet Tea seems to be offering, opting for uh, a lot more nares than we see up tilts, especially at like the lower percents. But now that uh, ZD is approaching these high percents, you're going to be looking for those up throws into thunder conversions. Right, there's the up throw. Sweet Tea dodging the up smash, lands the down air and gets game two. What a good bait from Sweet Tea, just dropping down. He had been doing that all game. And just, you know, pretty much dangling the, the bait right in front of yeah. ZD, saying, here I am. You know you want to do your flash kick up smash. And he did it, and he got the punish with down air. Yeah, I mean, great stuff. I mean, clutch we, moment. Yeah, and the Pichu working out well for him. It, did, it didn't see the light of day yesterday. And Nimbus brings it out today, and he does find a W with it, at least on this game. Is he going to keep it up, though? Well, he's definitely sticking with his... Pichu pick, but now we see uh, a stage select that isn't going to allow Sweet Tea any option to, to sort of use uh, elevation with platforms. Oh, unfortunately for Sweet Tea getting the incorrect hit, but he's still keeping ZD off the ledge. Okay, a back air to send ZD off and stalling with the, with the shine, but I mean, Jacob playing extremely patient at the ledge with He's trying to set up for his ledge traps. He wants to get the ledge trap he's looking for. All right, there's the back here. ZD sent across stage. Here. Great lead right now for Sweet T. The back here again going to send him to the wrong side of the stage. I feel like that would have killed off the side, though. Oh, that's such a hard mix of you to tell which angle that Fox is going to go for. Do you, do you stay at the ledge and hope that he goes for the ledge and you try and ledge trap him there? Or do you chase the horizontal recovery? It really just feels like a 50-50 on what he's It totally do. is. But another back air is going to seal out the stock and give Sweet T the stock advantage. <laughs> oh, and a great jump call out there from ZD. We see that a lot from him. Okay. But with even stocks, a uh, couple forward airs into a up air. The second hit doesn't connect. A little bit more damage coming out from Sweet T, but ZD not taking too much. I a parry actually. I didn't even realize that backer was gonna hit. I mean, Sweet T was definitely ready. Oh, falling out of the back air. I right, catches him with a photo, puts him on the ledge once again, but 
ZD actually calls out the jump with a run-up up smash. I mean, I mean you got you so we have a name for that, right? Yeah, we call it the the ghost. The do it. <laughs> oh, nah, that's the ghost. I don't I don't think that's the ghost. I'm pretty sure it's the do it. <laughs> he just did it. Uh, maybe maybe it hasn't reached this far, so Cal. <laughs> Where I'm from, that's the ghost. Oh, okay. Who's ghost? The Fox boy? Who? <laughs> okay, big F smash at the ledge, but gonna be able to fire Fox right through it. Luckily for, for Sweet T, uh, he was able to go into shield before it connected because that Firefox has a lot of power. I right. uh, dash attack rather. Forward tilt gonna keep ZD off stage. He gets the down tilt, doesn't get the down air afterwards, and now he's on the ledge. Himself. That was smart stuff from ZD to hold in. If the down tilt did connect and he didn't, he would have been in prime down air position. And I just like how evasive ZD is being. Alright, back it out of shield. Not going to find the stock quite yet. ZD staying alive, managing to illusion through it, but the second illusion, ill advised. Sweet T finds the forward tilt, but ZD still has him on the ledge. He's trying to find a way to end this stop. I mean, ZD hasn't been using the grounded illusions too much. So for uh, the punch to be that big, it, it's understandable. Okay, but this is a great start. The forward smash catches him, and he's dead. 70. 76 after One opening. 76. I mean, that's the power of Pichu. Exactly. You only need one opening. I, I feel like the only thing going through... Sweet T's head right now is, man, I'm doing so great right now. Why didn't I go Pichu yesterday? You know what? Yesterday was a different day. Today's MSM 179, and Sweet T is looking for his revenge. Yeah, and he's doing a great job of it right now on the Pichu. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the, I, I guess I have to admit, you know, I thought the Pokemon trainer was the better pick here, but clearly Sweet T shutting me up. <laughs> Let's see what happens here in game four. Oh, gets the trip, calls out the roll away, and Sweet T already off to a great start. Oh, a lot of shield pressure with all those those uh, Pichu normals. Oh, the, the jab lock. Oh, but I he went like for the reset. Smash. He probably, yeah, he could have gone for a fourth smash. He probably was just unsure if it was going to kill or not. But going for the reset is also a smart option because he can just put keep ZD in that disadvantaged position until he's ready to pull the trigger and go for a kill. I. ZD looking for these falling nails, but going to get answered by the T-Jolts. He did get the tech chase, and now he was looking for the air dodge. Lands the back air to punish it. Oh, ZD all angle. over Sweet T. Up smash out of shield. Going to punish that forward smash. Well, you know, what's that's that's kind of fair. Yeah. It's yeah, fair. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not upset about that one. <laughs> I mean, Pichu died uh, below 100%. He is the lightest character in the game, but wow. Good punish on the Rapid Jazz. Just going for that raw down air. All right, double jump onto stage. Landing there. Going to trade with the photo tilt for Sweet T. Okay, back air. Now we're going to see Fox combos. Oh, boy, do we know Fox combos, don't we, Arceusdor? Oh, boy, we've been living in SoCal for too long. <laughs> okay, but Illusion back at the ledge. And getting caught by the last hit of the back air. All right, Nair's coming out for both players. The back air gonna force ZD off the stage onto the ledge. Tijol is coming out. But we see that defensive play coming out from Sweet T again. It looks kind of like how he was playing the last game. And again! That's right. An another F smash connecting, landing at the ledge. And these F smash at the ledges, with, with just that that's move being so strong, it's gotta be scary. And speaking of scary strong, Darren to the up smash, going to find the stock off of Sweet T. That's right, but Nair out of shield. I mean, Jacob's looking to take this last stock. He doesn't want to go to a game five, but at the same time, he's looking for his opening. Yeah, he knows what happened last time he went to game five with ZD. <laughs> but, I mean, he's looking great to end this game, end this set, if he can take this single stock off of ZD right now. I mean, oh, this is a prime position. The down air. Oh, my God, and they neither of them tag, but ZD does die first. Sweet T. <laughs> and a thumbs up thumbs to up. the crowd. All right, Jacob pop. <laughs> I never see Jacob pop off. The run back, he 